Hey guys, it's Ryan Share here with Dex 3.11.0.0. It's the brand new iteration of our flagship software for mixing music, music videos, and hosting karaoke. This is a quick demonstration of a new feature that's coming to 3.11. It's the ability to use shaders for on-screen visualizations uh, for those times where maybe you're just playing audio and you want something out on the screen that's nice and exciting and in sync with the music. At least that's most of the case, most of the time with shaders. That is the case that they synchronize with the playing audio. Uh, this is great for when you're just mixing music and you got a second display set up for the audience or maybe when you're transitioning from music videos to regular audio and you want to maintain something for the audience to see on the secondary display on your output. Uh, so you'll notice at the top of the two deck and four deck skins now when you're on the video tab, make sure you're on a video tab and the video tab can be accessed from either of the default skins, the four deck or the two deck, by clicking the little rectangle button at the top center of the skin. Uh, you'll notice to the right of that, right to the right of the clock, that you have a new shader drop down menu. Now we've preloaded, I think, 10 or 12 shaders uh, just so that you can see how this all works right away when you install the new update. Uh, however, what's really cool about these shaders is that shadertoy.com, that's shadertoy.com, there are literally thousands and thousands of shaders um, that you can use with Dex3. All you have to do is browse the website, find a shader you like, and you literally just copy the, copy the URL, the address from your address bar at the top of your web browser, and you add it to Dex3, which you can do right under here. When you click the little drop-down menu to view your shaders at the bottom, there's an Add a New Shader button. If you click that, it'll bring up a little box to put in the URL and it'll add the shader. So I'll probably create a, a video in the near future that demonstrates how to go to shadertoy.com, grab one of those URLs and dump it into the software. What's cool about that then is that once they've been added, they are downloaded and stored locally so you can then perform with those shaders at a gig whether you've got internet or not. Uh, so let's just show you one. I'm gonna, from this drop down menu, I'll grab one of the pre-configured shaders, as you can see, it's kind of going to show right, display right away on screen, whether it's on your screen or the secondary screen, on your secondary, you know, output. So what's great is these, you know, because they're drawn, shaders are kind of drawn in real time and they're generated in real time, they can be synchronized automatically with the output, the audio that's playing. Notice, it'll kind of twitch and go in sync with the playing output. I've got my volume down a little bit so you can hear me talking, but that's really all there is to it. You select the, the shader from the dropdown and it's gonna display that shader on screen and you'll see that the visualization is synchronized with the playing audio. Not all shaders will have this capability where they synchronize automatically, although they all show some uh, form of motion on screen. Most of them do, however, synchronize. You do have to be careful because some shaders, uh, you know, will put more of a load on your GPU than others. Uh, if you notice any kind of sluggishness in the software, the particular shader you might be using may be a little too heavy on resources. Uh, but they come in all shapes and sizes and forms and, um, you know, it's, it's really a lot of fun. So I will demonstrate the ability to go to shadertoy.com and grab a visualization uh, from there and dump it into the software in a future video. But for now, have a play with the brand new shader visualization feature in DEX 3.11.0.0. If you have any questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comments section below. Thanks.